Hey babes, what's up? It's Haley, and welcome back to my channel. My oh my, we have a fun and exciting one for you today. I thought it would be so fun to go ahead and finally show you some outfit ideas that you can sport in the coming up season, or even if you're heading back to school or back to college. A lot of you guys suggested for me to recreate outfits from really popular TV shows, and I thought that today we would actually tackle one of my favorite all-time shows, and that is Friends. How you doing? I did a thrift haul a couple weeks ago where I actually thrifted this skirt, and the top comment on that video was that, oh my god, that's the Rachel green plaid skirt you have to recreate that outfit la 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 so thanks to you guys I actually put together 12 different outfits all inspired by the friends series and they're all specifically very fall related so we're gonna see lots of sweaters lots of crew necks and hoodies lots of plaid too so whether you're a fan of friends or you're not I'm pretty sure you're gonna get some really good 90s inspo from this video so without further ado let's get into it let's start off with Rachel's iconic plaid skirt and sweater combo this is a plaid skirt I actually thrifted from thread up it's from the brand crybaby and one of my subscribers actually let me know that this on the website is called the Rachel Green skirt and something that bummed me out so hard I actually had the perfect white turtleneck to go with the skirt that would match that photo perfectly unfortunately I think I gave it to my sister and I could not find a white turtleneck to replace it so instead I just decided to pair it with this Ralph Lauren camel turtleneck it gives off the same vibe and I actually think it goes so well with the skirt too because it has some camel colors in the lining of the plaid I just tuck this turtleneck right into the skirt and that's pretty much the entire outfit completed Rachel was wearing like super high socks to the knees with some tennis shoes for me because that's not something I would actually wear I just decided to opt out for some regular classic tennis shoes just paired with some white Nike crew socks I feel like a plaid print skirt is such an amazing staple item for early fall time and let's be real if this turtleneck was white then I pretty much pulled off this look exactly when I asked you guys to send me some of your favorite friends outfits this is a photo that a lot of you guys send me I totally get why because this exact outfit head to toe is still something that I would wear right now these are my favorite Wranglers I actually thrifted them from the men's section they fit really high-waisted and they have a nice straight baggy leg and I didn't have a red tank top with the straps like she did But I do have a red halter top which I think pairs so well with the jeans and gives off that exact same look White tennis shoes were something that the girls were wearing all the time and a tank top or a halter top like this one Can definitely still get you a little bit chilly in the fall time So what I decided to pair it with that was still huge in the 90s was a little black cardigan But if you want to stay a little bit warmer then a cardigan is the way to go And they're a really nice way to take a summer outfit and transform it right into the fall So even though Phoebe style seems to be the most out there and maybe a bit intimidating to recreate there was a look that she wore that I absolutely loved and it's something that everyone is doing right now and all she's wearing is a t-shirt layered underneath a summer dress layering has been something that is so easy and so fun to do and a really great way to transform summer outfits into more fall seasons so I started off with my little white cotton t-shirt and then layered right on that I actually have this beautiful thrifted light blue flower print dress I feel like this is so Phoebe and it's definitely a very similar color to what she was wearing in that photo this dress is vintage and it's thrifted from Le Chateau and just look how cute this dress looks when it's paired right on top of the white t-shirt in the photo you can slightly see that she's wearing something that looks like black Mary Janes and I actually have these like patent leather Mary Jane style shoes that are super thick and chunky I've been waiting for an occasion to wear these and I wore my Nike crew socks underneath just to tie in a little bit more of that white into the look and I'm so obsessed with this outfit I think we did Phoebe really really well with this one before getting into some more outfits I quickly wanted to give a shout out to today's sponsor today's video is actually sponsored by case to five cases I I personally adore the case to five cases. There are so many different options on their website. They're all so cute and aesthetic, but not only that, their cases actually offer the best protection for your phone as well. This is the phone case that I currently have on my phone right now. It's this amazing lavender pastel color and it has this little speckle print. And yes, I got it customized to actually say my name on it. But the best part is that these cases are actually part of their new conscious range. They are 100% biodegradable and compostable, which is obviously so important to me. I try to be more sustainable and just make more eco-conscious decisions whenever I can. So with this new range of phone cases you don't have to feel guilty that your phone looks super cute it's still protected but it in no way is gonna harm the environment they're only made of bamboo materials there's absolutely no virgin plastic in these at all the packaging that these cases come in as well are also 100% recyclable I customized a bunch so here's another one I wanted to show you that I made you know that I had to get a case that represents my love for thrifting and each little package also comes with this little card that says a case for our future the entire company is hoping to be entirely carbon neutral by 2025 which is an amazing mission and if you weren't already convinced to try these out for every case of the conscious line that you purchase they're gonna be planting a tree in its place so not only are you bettering the environment by purchasing these cases but you're leaving your own amazing impact somewhere in the world these cases are actually four foot dropped approved I'm not really sure where four feet is but 
and we are all good. You could choose the color of your case and then get either your name or a quote or a saying engraved however you want. And that's exactly what I did with all of these. These conscious line cases made of the bamboo based materials, they're strong, they're flexible, super aesthetic. But the best part is that they're eco-friendly, they leave no toxins behind. So if you guys want to go ahead and match with me, you can go to casetify.com slash Haley's Corner to get 20% off your own compostable case. And for every case you buy, you get to plant a tree. So not only do you do amazing for the environment, you also do well for your phone too. I'm going to go ahead and leave everything linked down below for you guys to check out. And with all that, we're going to get into the next outfit. And we're going to be recreating this one from the episode where Rachel got mad at Ross and decided to stay in. She threw on this really big oversized gray knick sweater that I love so much. And you guys, I still can't believe that I thrifted this one for like under $5. How amazing of a dupe is this sweater to the one that she's wearing? In the photo, it was kind of impossible to tell what kind of bottom she was wearing, but I assume that if she's wearing a sweatshirt, she probably paired it with some sweatpants. So these are my absolute favorite joggers from H&M. They're from the men's section. Because they're men's sweats, they're really high-waisted, but they do have more of a jogger fit, so they fit a little bit tighter on the ankle, which is what I love. And you guys know how much matching sweatsuits has been a thing last year, and I know that this year it's gonna go just as hard. For shoes, you can really pair any sneakers with this. I just decided to go with my high-top black Converse, but overall, that's how Rachel Green does her chilling at home cozy look. Monica, Rachel, and Phoebe all wore overalls just like these. And when it comes to overalls, this is gonna be a trend that you're either gonna love or you're gonna hate. I personally love it, and especially these thrifted ones, they fit me so freaking perfectly. I still remember the video where I thrifted these. I'm pretty sure it was like a 90s inspired thrift with me, and it was just a match made in heaven because these overalls are my exact size, which are almost impossible to find. And Monica kept it like super, super simple, so I just decided to pair with like a white tank top underneath. This is one with a little bit more of a girly touch. I actually added this flower lace trim in one of my past thrifting DIY videos and paired together it is such an easy combo to achieve again just wore my white tennis shoes to complete the entire 90s look and I think that I got this look pretty spot on now to just find a place to actually wear it <laughs> and this next look that Rachel sported I obviously could not not do it you guys sent it to me so much and I totally get why these plaid pants or leggings there's nothing more fall about them but basically all you're gonna be needing is some red plaid pants to make this statement outfit but they are a plaid pant from Calvin Klein I absolutely love them so much because it's a smaller pattern it's not really intimidating and what Rachel did do perfectly here whenever you have a statement pant like this you can keep it really really simple for the top so I just paired it with a basic white t-shirt and there you go you already have your look again wore these white tennis shoes too they really just go with everything and if you're looking for one to resemble that 90s look exactly the Reebok classics are great so I'm gonna link them down below for you too but the one in the plaid pants we all love it Rach what I really like about Monica's style is that her outfits are super easy to recreate and the girl also loved her denim so in this case, this is the look that I wanted to recreate and these little knitted cardigans have definitely become trendy in the last year. So the way that this look starts is obviously you gotta grab your favorite pair of blue jeans. These are just some Levi's that I thrifted a few years back. I honestly just chose this outfit because I already knew I had this cardigan and I mean, come on. I, I mean, it's pretty spot on, you gotta say. A simple cardigan and jean look, the reason I wanted to show it to you guys is because this is something you can thrift so much right now. Definitely add knitted cardigans to your list. As you can see, I kind of have a collection of a bunch of different colorful ones. So definitely some straight leg blue jeans with a nice cardigan paired together. Easy combination, perfect for school. Another Phoebe look I wanted to recreate is this one from this episode. If you guys remember, this is the episode where Phoebe was like on hold on the phone forever for wanting to fix her phone. It was really funny. But anyway, seeing that green color sweater, first of all, love that color. But I also realized that I have the exact same crew neck sweater and I'm like, okay, this is just meant to be. I need to recreate this outfit. This crew neck is actually a part of my entire green sweatsuit, which I love so much. For this photo, there was like no photo of what she was wearing in the bottom. I just saw that it was like something black and I paired the sweater with these amazing corduroy bottoms with this super wide flare leg. I think that they are so flattering. Hopefully in the fall and winter, everybody's gonna be incorporating them more. But these ones I thrifted on ThreadUp for like under $10. They are super, super high-waisted. And just this leg, ugh, I do not have long legs, but these make me look like I have super, super long legs. And if you're actually gonna be strolling along campus, something like this is like super perfect. You could even add like a little cap to accessorize some more, but I love it. Thank you for the inspo, Phoebe. I noticed that Rachel wears a lot of plaid. <laughs> for the next look, I actually wanted to recreate this photo. Definitely the outfit she's wearing is more business attire appropriate, but long pencil skirts is not really something that I see coming back. So even though I don't have either of these pieces, I wanted to show you guys how you can take an outfit like this. You can create a really similar looking outfit that gives off the same vibe. So right here I have like a tan orange vest and I still wanted to do some plaid bottoms, but ones that are a little bit more wearable than that pencil skirt. And I decided to pair these plaid pants from Urban Outfitters. But the reason it works so well with this top is that the rust color is already ingrained in this plaid too. And I think it like pairs really well together 
together. Even though the color schemes are really different, we just took inspiration from Rachel's style and created it in our own look. And this is what I urge you guys to do too. I didn't buy a single thing for this entire video. I'm just trying to make do with what I have. And that's the whole point of inspo videos. They are meant for inspo. Because I think a lot of us need to learn to be happy with what we already have in our wardrobe and try different combinations to make really cute outfits that we never thought of before. One of my favorite episodes of the Friends series is the football episode. And you could just like look at all the girls and the guys, they are all dressed so cozy and comfy, just ready to go and play some sports. And even though I'm not going to play some sports anytime soon, I really wanted to recreate the look that Monica's wearing here. And to start it off, you can see that she's wearing like a navy blue sweater with some red writing on it. So I actually had a navy blue sweater with some red writing. And I definitely thought that it gave off this nice 90s vibe. Both Chandler and Rachel wore a USA sweater so similar to this one. But yeah, this is just a thrifted USA Atlanta sweatshirt. Definitely something that you would see on Brandy Melville right now for like super expensive. And just like Monica wore in that episode, I decided to pair with some gray sweatpants. Do they go together? Definitely do not. But are they comfortable? Yes. And that's all that really matters. Here are just some Nike sweats that I paired with them. And I actually created these jogger bottoms myself. It was like super easy. I just added an elastic band. But yeah, big oversized sweats, big oversized crew neck. There's nothing more comfortable than this. And come fall time, this is usually what you would see me in. Okay, you guys, that was actually quite a few number of outfits that we went through. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a really big thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below first, which friend's character is your favorite? And I'm talking guys and girls. Like, let me know down below. Joey is kind of like my spirit animal. Maybe it's because I'm hungry all the time and so is he. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm just grateful that Canadian Netflix still has the show running because I know for you Americans, it's a little bit sad. But anyway, let me know down below which of these looks was your favorite. Which of the girls' style do you feel like you would actually sport and wear out? Be sure to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already and subscribe down below to join the amazing family. I'm really excited to be doing more videos like this, a little bit different, a little bit fun, but hopefully still serving you up some good thrift fashion inspo. Again, I'm gonna leave all the case to find information down below as well. Love you guys so much and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye!